there ladies and gentlemen, it's me Geezer and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke Edition. I don't know why I keep saying it in that exact manner like I do every single time I introduce it. Anyway, in the last episode we took out the Bellsprout Tower as well as the first Pokemon Gym. And in this episode, well I don't know what's going to happen but apparently Professor Elm wants to talk to us. Oh, good. I'm glad we get to see Professor Elm again, the most pointless character in human history. Like, literally, that's what really annoys me about Pokemon Gold and Silver. Like, Professor Elm literally does, like, three things, whereas Professor Oak, you know, gives you your Pokedex and tells you that you can actually do the whole champion quest. Anyway, we got the Pokemon Egg. And this Pokemon Egg, if you don't know, will hatch into a big, beautiful bastard of a Togepi. Now... The way I'm going to deal with this is I am going to have all gift Pokemon, such as Togepi, Pokemon like that, I'm going to put them in the PC, and then if I get a game over and every single one of my Pokemon dies, I have those gift Pokemon, and one last chance. They're like my extra life. So yes, in this episode, we can now finally go down into Route 32. Now, if you go past this guy, he will give you a Miracle Seed, so I'm going to talk to him and get one of those, because... The items in this game, like the Twisted Spoon, the Charcoal, they increase the power of the certain moves only by 10%, which is contradictory, well not contradictory, which is different to the future installments where it gives more of a 20-25% bonus, I don't know. So let's see what Pokemon, will it be a Wooper, will it be a Mareep, or will it be a Rattata? An Ekans! Didn't expect that! Well yes, Ekans is a... Well, I've never really used it before. Oh, shit! Oh, God. My Pokemon are quite weak. Okay. Let's think about this. Have we got a... We got a potion. Okay. Right. Just take this slowly, guys. We'll just take this nice and slow. Because I'm terrified Hoppip will die. Come on, Hoppip. Come back to us. We're going to get this motherfucking Ekans. Oh, he's using rap. Oh no! One HP! If he does that 23 more times, I'll be fucked! Well, let's use Tackle. No critical, no critical, no critical, no critical, no critical. Are you fucking kidding? Are, are you kidding me? Like, seriously? It's gone beyond a joke now, guys. Right, I'm a little bit pissed off, so I'm gonna go and heal my Pokemon up, and I'll be right back. And we're back! Oh, got a Rattata. I miss you, Derekina! So, yeah. Zubat died, Ekans died. I'm so unlucky, because, like, literally, I've only got three Pokemon, and two of them are the same type, and one of them was given to me. But hey, hey, Hoppit grew to level 13, so. Oh, poison powder? Uh... Well, oh, I suppose it's better than splashing it, so. Sorry about the sound there, I don't know what was happening. I haven't seen you around before, so you think you're pretty tough? Well, yeah, I've got a motherfucking Hoppip and a Bellsprout that's level 5. I mean, what are you doing with your life? Sorry, I'm eating Mawams, so... You know, because I've only just woken up. It's Bank Holiday Monday and I woke up before 12. Like, can somebody please give me a medal? Because I think I deserve one. Ah. Oh. Good commentary, I know. I know you guys are thinking good commentary, because I'm thinking the same. But what can I do when I'm versing a level 6 Rattata? Let me swallow this now and we'll all be alright. Oh! Oh, 
I ain't had that much trouble swallowing since last weekend. Oi! Stop sniggering! That's not funny. Don't know why I pointed at me webcam there. Like, it's the viewers. Yes, viewers! Specifically you, webcam! Hit, hit, that, that there's a 50% chance of hitting yourself in confusion, right? But I, I swear it's more like 3,000% chance, because... Oh, a critical hit. Why am I unsurprised that he's getting all the luck? If I hit myself in confusion, I'm going to flip. There we go. Confusion or love are probably the two most infuriating sta status inflictors on this game, because... Love is the... I think infatuation is the worst because literally, I, I feel like I have a 2% chance to hit. Youngster Albert was defeated. You're strong. Oh, thanks. Oh, I sent some of my money to mom. Yeah. But you wished life... I don't know what I was going to say. You know what? I'm going to skip some trainers and verse them off screen because, you know, I'll save me a bit of time. Oh, I accidentally walked into him. That glance, it's intriguing. Well, thank you. Look at that stance, he looks like he's about to have a massive shit, I'm sorry. Camper Roland, not in front of me. And oh, cool, a Nidoran, I wish I had a Nidoran. I like that, Nidoran male. It's ma Did you know that Nidoran male's male? Because, like, if you didn't then Pokemon Gold and Silver and Crystal will tell you twice. Oh dear. Oh, if I die I'm going to be so upset. Okay, it's a time at the switch. <laughs> Don't know why I suddenly turned into Mario. It's a time and a sweet, yeah. Are you ready for an amazing segue, guys? Are you ready? Speaking of Mario, has anyone played... I have recently... Well, my friend lent me uh, Paper Mario Sticker Star for the 3DS, and I just want to say that it's not that good of a game. Like, it has a lot of problems with it now. I'm just going to ignore this tangent to read out what Camper Roland said. Hmm, this is disappointing. Aren't you so glad I stopped to read what he said? Anyway, speaking of Paper Mario Sticker Star, I am a big fan of the Paper Mario series. Ever since the first installation on the Nintendo 64, I thought it was a great game. It was filled with good humor, nice visuals. And Paper Mario The Thousand Year Doors is probably the best RPG on the GameCube. And that's saying a lot when it's got games like Fire Emblem and... Pokemon Coliseum and XD on it, so yeah, that is a really good achievement. So, and I also quite enjoyed the Wii version. A lot of people didn't like it because it took away from the roots of the RPG. Because it went more into like a platform RPG, which to me made it a very unique game. And it, it was, they all have like a gimmick to them, and that gimmick in the game was very good. You could change perspective to get around puzzles and things like that. And it had a really good story, so I didn't get all the hate for paper, uh, Super Paper Mario or whatever it was called. But Paper Mario Sticker Start is a big letdown of a game in my opinion. The visuals are brilliant, and in 3D, it really looks good. But the problem with it is that there aren't any... There isn't an experience system to talk of. Like in this Pokemon, you know, you do a battle, you receive some experience, you get a level up. I mean, that makes the random battles worthwhile when you crash into them. I know some people find it frustrating, but at least you're getting something for doing them. It's not just completely pointless. Now, the problem with Super Paper, well, Paper Mario Sticker Star is there is no experience system, which makes getting into random battles completely pointless, in my opinion. Like. I know some people say you get money in it and you need that for the stickers. Right, like basically the battle system in the game you use stickers, so you get a jump sticker, you can use a jump attack. Things like that. And you find stickers all over the world and things like that. I'm gonna battle this guy if he looks at me. There we go. So yeah, if you, you go around the world and you know, you find stickers in the world and you get stickers from battle and you get money and you can buy stickers. The problem is though, I find random battles, whenever I got into a random battle in that game, I felt like it was wasting my time because it uses up your stickers because, you know, you battle him and you've got to kill him. So it's using up your stickers in the first place and also there's a huge problem with Wait, it was. Yeah, like, you get money from it, but I completed the game just using the stickers I found around the places. Because I had them when I got to the boss battle. I had more stickers when I got to the boss battle. I mean, th there are things in it that are really... Like, literally, if there was an experience system in it, I would say it's a really good game. I know that sounds picky, but I hate Final Fantasy XIII for a lot of reasons, and that's got a bad experience system as well. 
But that's what really infuriates me about RPGs when they have a bad experience system. I mean, experience systems should be relatively easy. Pokemon's, for example, lots of different Pokemon. They have different criteria and experience points they need to get to the highest level. There are different ta there are different groups which gain experience at different rates, which means that. You know, like, you know, I've got to level up. My stats are up. That, is, that battle was worth it. It wasn't completely pointless. Whereas games which don't have conventional experience systems, 